Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Gone Rogue. And in this episode of Gone Rogue, I am going to talk about looking through multiple perspectives. That is right, in this episode of Gone Rogue, I am going to talk about how we need to look through multiple perspectives whether it whether it's an issue that we face or or a political issue or an argument it could be any type of arguments personal arguments political arguments factual arguments scientific arguments it could be anything and how we need to uh, take a step back and try to look through multiple perspectives so if you followed my last episode of Gone Rogue, I've talked about how we need to be more how we need to be more open minded in a how I mentioned that this year or uh, multiple episodes of Gone Rogue I'll be talking about how change how I change my direction when I talk about the subjects on Gone Rogue. So, the first thing on why we need to have multiple perspectives on things is to get a better understanding on what the issue is. We tend to, we tend to believe in one perspective and and that's it. We tend to believe in one single perspective, and that is it. I'm going to use this example, a real-life exa- example, a real-life current event that is going on right now, which is the uh, Russian and Ukraine uh, crisis. Uh, Russia invaded Ukraine uh, on February 24, 2022, and we have multiple... And there are reasons why Russia invaded Ukraine. And let me get this straight. Let me uh, say say it. Um, get this out of the way. I do not support Russia. Russia has no right to invade a sovereign country like Ukraine. And in all. I really hope this war does not lead to a World War III. But going back to what I said, uh, using this Russia-Ukraine crisis war, we asked ourselves when this happened on February 24, 2022, we asked ourselves why is Russia invading Ukraine? And as I in a in to be honest, I need to look this up. I need to look for multiple sources, reliable sources. And and I've seen some good reasons in some and some BS reasons that is trying to fulfill in a political agenda here in the United States, which has no which I can really can't connect. And the good reasons that I find, um, when I say good reasons, I'm meaning uh, factual reasons or um, reasons with good, good understanding substance. Good sub- substance behind those reasons is that, uh, in this, my findings here, which is Russia wanted to invade Ukraine because Ukraine wanted to uh, join NATO and Russia has no does not like that and there are many more reasons why Russia in, invaded uh, Ukraine and it could be going after resources going after ports strategical ports trying um, and there are many reasons such as uh, Vladimir Putin want to unite Ukraine under one 
um, uh, under one rule, let's say, because Ukraine, uh, if you know your history, after the fall of the Soviet Union, there are multiple uh, countries now, back when the United States was under USSR rule. And there are bad reasons which I cannot connect the dots to 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 make it to to where I can assess it to the meaningful reason which is uh, the deep state oh the deep state and, I, and I'm trying to I really don't believe the deep state because I cannot try I try to understand multiple perspectives but this perspective saying uh, it's the deep state thing where our president Joe Biden has a uh, Bermuda oil. No, I really can't connect that because reason being is that this was going long before uh, Biden became president. This was going on long before Trump became president. This was going long before those two presidents. This was an ambitious plan by Vladimir Putin, where I think really one day this would happen, and now here we are. But that's just the Western side of things that I, I've um, did my research on, and I wanted to go through and look through a different perspective, which is the Eastern side or the Russian side of things, if they understand why they are if they know why they are invaded invading ukraine and and i'll go through these uh these uh, uh youtube comments that talks about these issues and going through these uh this chinese state-run media uh which to give me a different perspective going through the comments and look looking at reading these comments and I've discovered that uh, discovered that uh, they support Russia because it's against US aggression against US invading other countries like Afghanistan or Libya or US um, US getting involved with things uh, of foreign matters and and I'm like well I really can't I really can't understand this perspective because because we we got to call out the hypocrisy here those who support Russia um, wanting to invade Ukraine because of US uh, being involved in this country being invading other countries Forget the fact that Russia is no better than U.S. When Russia was involved with the Taliban uh, way before U.S. funded Bin Laden with the um, with the weapons before 9/11, this was I think, what 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 era I'm talking about was in the was the 80s. Russia was very well involved with other countries such as Afghanistan and they want, wanted to be involved with uh, Finland and they are no better than what we did as US being involved uh, with other countries and that said that is why we need to look for multiple perspectives on how we need to get a better understanding with uh, with what is going on in the world so that's about it for this episode of Gone Rogue. If you like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below on what you think about what I said. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to get my other YouTube content that's on this channel. Thank you for watching Gone Rogue. And I'll see you on next one.